Like I said, um, what is your relationship to the Big Sky Watershed Corp program? You said you uh, relationship to the Big Sky Watershed Corp, the Big Sky Watershed, Big Sky Watershed Corp program. You said you uh, relationship to the Big Sky Watershed Corp program, Big Sky Watershed Corp program. You said you uh, you supervise a core member. Mm -hmm. How else are you involved? So, like I said, um, MACD. What is your relationship to the Big Sky Watershed? Corp program. You said you uh, you supervise a core member. Mm -hmm. How else are you involved? So, like I said, um, MACD is also on the steering committee. A core program. You said you uh, you supervise a core member. Mm -hmm. How else are you involved? So, like I said, um, supervise a core member. Mm -hmm. How else are you supervise a core member? Mm -hmm. How else are you involved? So, like I said, um, MACD is also on the supervise a core member. Mm -hmm. How else are you involved? So, like I said, um, MACD. Is also on the steering committee of the Big Sky Watershed Corps program. We also provide 50% cost share to conservation districts who are hoping to do a host site. We just finished our application process for that. I'm not sure how many we got. Program. You said you uh, you supervise a core member. Mm -hmm. How else are you involved? So, like I said, um, MACD is also on the steering committee of the Big Sky Watershed Corps program. We also provide 50% cost share to conservation districts who are hoping to do a host site. We just finished our application process for that. I'm not sure how many we got, um, but we'll usually do that. If they work on things like soil health, pollinators, conservation storytelling, we have some funding with NRCS that we use to help cost share. Um, and then on a personal level, I actually went through this program. How, if at all, did being a member prepare you for your current role? Uh, I think it did a lot. I mean, I think it did everything. I worked for like the Forest Service, and I worked for the National Department of Resources. I did fisheries work, a lot of field work and technical work. But when I came to Big Sky Watershed Corps, there was just a whole new level of like program management, grant writing, reporting, just this you know higher level type of um, application that I have not had access to. Before. It was like the perfect slot to fill in those missing skills and experiences. I wasn't thinking about doing any kind of program management until I went to BSWC. I got a lot out of, you know, like kind of like build partnerships, build a lot of skills. Um, I was a watershed coordinator after I left. It's very hard to get that much experience out of a one-year position. I think what's really unique about the program is it's not just working for these folks and, you know, being there as an intern. There's this whole level of, like, education and, you know, doing your own kind of thing, your own sort of personnel development and the opportunity to go to different conferences or trainings or just other volunteer work to decide what you like to do. Are there any um, partnerships or relationships that you formed as a core member that you still have today? In one sense, I feel like I was lucky because there's still a lot of big Sky Watershed Corps members still around when I was a member. Um, there's a lot of folks I don't know, but it still just makes it easier. I just know the landscape a lot better. And so even if I don't know the people within the organization, it's like, well, I understand the working relationship these people have with these people, or pros and cons of working with these folks are, or what they might be able to bring to the table. So I just feel like I have a lot of working knowledge of the landscape as I kind of build my relationships here today. It kind of just makes it easier to open doors. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. That's really helpful. And how long have you been at host? Just this year. It would be the first time that we posted this site. Been at host 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 site. Just this Been at host site. Been at host site. Just this year would be the first time that we posted this site. I think MACD has hosted one previous to me, but I has hosted one previous to me, but I, I don't think anyone currently employed with MACD was there when that happened. It has hosted one previous to me, but I... I don't think anyone currently employed with MACD was there. Currently employed with MACD was MACD was there when that happened. So uh, I can't speak to that. 
What outcomes, if any, have you noticed from the Big Sky Watershed Corps program in Montana? Was there when that happened? Was there when that happened? Was there when that happened? So uh, I can't speak to that. What outcomes, if any, have you noticed from the Big Sky Watershed Corps program in Montana? We see happen, so uh, I can't happen. So uh, I can't speak to that. Happen, so happen, so happen, so I happen, so I can't speak to that. Happen, so I can't speak to that. Happen, so that happen, so that happen, so I can't speak. So I can't speak to that. Happen, so I can't speak to that. What outcomes, if any, have you noticed from the Big Sky Watershed Corps program in Montana? We see a lot of in what we hear a lot about is just the immense amount of capacity it provides to get out to communities. You know, in relation to our specific program and Watershed Corps member, um, she's honestly reached out to a lot of groups that I would never have the time to reach out to. Probably I wouldn't even be the thought to reach out to. She's pulled in a couple people that were not on my radar. Probably I wouldn't even be the wouldn't even thought to reach out to. Mm. She's pulled in a couple people that were not on my radar. Um, it's really nice to have that person, especially if they're interested in the community that they're working in um, and they're willing to kind of get out thought to reach out to. Mm. She's pulled in a couple people that were not on my radar. They even thought to reach out to. Mm. She's pulled in a couple people that were not on my radar. Um, it's really nice to have that person, especially if they're we're not on my radar. Um, it's really nice to have that person, especially if they're interested in the community that they're working in um, and they're willing to kind of get out and talk to new people and things like that. That's made a huge difference and just trying to build interest for our programs. I mean, that's just one of the biggest things. They do a lot of education and outreach and I think they do a really good job of it. I don't know if it's because they it feels relatable or because they're volunteers or what it is, but I always feel like people are really open and willing to like talk to our board members and listen to them or attend their workshops. I kind of like build partnerships, build a lot of skills. Um, I was a watershed coordinator after I left. It's very hard to get that much experience out of a one-year position. I think what's really unique about the program is not just working for these folks and you know being there as an intern. There's this whole level of like education and you know doing your own kind of thing, your own sort of personnel development, and the opportunity to go to different conferences or trainings or just other volunteer work to decide what you like to do. Are there any um, partnerships or relationships that you formed as a core member that you still have today? In one sense, I feel like I was lucky because there's still a lot of big Skywatcher core members still around when I was a member. Um, there's a lot of folks I don't know, but it still just makes it easier. I just know the landscape a lot better. And so even if I don't know the people within the organization, it's like, well, I understand the working relationship these people have with these people or pros and cons of working with these folks are or what they might be able to bring to the table. So I just feel like I have a lot of working knowledge of the landscape as I kind of build my relationships here today. It kind of just makes it easier to open doors. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. That's really helpful. And how long have you been at host Just this year. It would be the first time. That we posted this site. Been at host 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 site. Just this been at host site. Been at host site. Just this year would be the first time that we posted this site. I think MACD has hosted one previous to me, but I has hosted one previous to me, but I I don't think anyone currently employed with MACD was there when that happened. Has hosted one previous to me, but I. I don't think anyone currently employed with MACD was there. Currently employed with MACD was with MACD was there when that happened. So uh, I can't speak to that. What outcomes, if any, have you noticed from the Big Sky Watershed Corps program in Montana? Was there when that happened? Was there when that happened? Was there when that happened? So uh, I can't speak to that.